The New York Times reported today that honeybees in this city are turning red. Their actual little bee bodies are changing color. This summer, restaurant owner David Selig noticed that in the sunset, his bees were glowing as if they were fluorescent, fluorescent red. Their honeycombs were also bright red, as was their honey itself. It didn't even taste of honey, according to the New York Times report today. It tasted metallic and overly sweet. And Mr. Seelig wasn't alone with his messed up bright red honeybees. Fellow urban beekeeper Cerise Mayo had the same problem with her bees. Bright red, fluorescent, stinky red honey. It turns out the bees had apparently been foraging not just on local delicious organic nectar, but on the maraschino cherry vats at a maraschino cherry company in Red Hook, Brooklyn. The Times reporting that samples of the bees' red honey were found to be, quote, riddled with red dye number 40, the same dye used in the maraschino cherry juice. Red dye number 40, just one of the many ingredients found in typical bar supply maraschino cherries, along with high fructose corn syrup, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, artificial flavor, uh, sulfur dioxide. Moral of the story, don't eat the garnish. Cocktail garnish is not meant to be a tiny, wet meal served conveniently inside your drink glass. Cocktail garnish is there to visually amuse you and or to augment the taste or smell of your drink. Like, for example, the citrus twist. I just cut a a new one. What you're hoping for from the lemon or orange twist is a little oil from the outer pores of the fruit. That oil is expressed onto the top of your drink, which makes your drink taste or smell lemony or orangey. You are not supposed to eat the twist. It has a job to do, and that job is not for it to be eaten. Also, cocktail umbrella. This is a garnish. It is there for your visual and perhaps tactile pleasure as you consume your drink, your drink which is separate from your garnish. Then, cocktail olives. Cocktail olives and cocktail onions found in martinis and gibsons. Not a meal. Hard to resist, I know, until you remember that depending on your bar, they have conceivably been lying out festering in their own juices in a warm room all night with fingers on them. Olives and onions, there to flavor your drink. If you want food, order food. Sneak a Slim Jim out of your pocket. Try nuts. Garnish, not for eating. Which brings us back to the bees. Maraschino cherry, lovely in the glass. It says, oh, that's a Manhattan, not a Rob Roy. It says, this is a light-colored drink that needs both visual interest and a little sweetness. It says, I don't really know how to make a Tom Collins. It says a lot of things, but it does not say, eat me. It will dye you red like those poor bees. That's why. Probably not. But let this be a harrowing mnemonic device to you, to anyway, to help you remember, don't eat the garnish. I'm sorry, sometimes cocktail moments are bossy.